Welcome back. Today we're talking about pages and specifically the template chooser that when you start up pages, this is the window that opens up. It's your template chooser. And inside the template chooser, you have a lot of options of templates to open up, which saves you a lot of time when you're creating a document. I will say, and you'll hear me say in other tutorials in this program, that oftentimes I will use a template and modify it much faster than I can from creating it from scratch. These are royalty free. You're free to keep them with the same colors and fonts or you can change them. And that's why they're put inside this chooser. So uh, inside the template chooser, we have a few other options. I'm gonna start at the bottom here and show you that we have a lot of uh, uh, recent documents. It's a shortcut tab to opening up recent documents. That same tab is located in file, open recent right here. So there's two places to get that. And we can open an existing file if we don't want to open a template and say it's a file we've already worked on. In this case, like the desktop, we can click on open existing file and the dialog box flips over. And in this case, we can see we can navigate through our menus here um, and go to my desktop. I could open up my original document and say cancel out of that. We have the templates, which gives us a preview of what they look like here. And if you scroll over them, let's see if I can um, zoom in here so you can see how this works. If I scroll over this, you can see the, the pages are changing. Well, in the pages tutorial, I showed you how to add these pages. Well, this is great because you can kind of see what the template has to offer before you open it up. So if I click in here and now it's not going to do it, it's going to make me probably because I was just fiddling around with a zoom. But in you hover over this, it will actually show you different variations. Now you can increase the size of the preview right here. Again, as you increase the size, you kind of lose some, uh, uh, some viewing space and real estate, as they call it. I can just open this window all the way up and you know, we can navigate over these um, and look at these different templates. Okay, so we can scroll around. They're also broken down by topics here on the side. You can see here we can go right to reports and this will list all the reports. There we go. And so we've got a visual report, school report, uh, research paper. I will in an advanced series teach you how to create templates and put them inside of these uh, categories. So that way you can have MLA, APA for reports or if you have certain reports that you have to turn into a supervisor, you could have them all pre-built and put inside. Uh, miscellaneous. And it looks like my computer is acting a little, a little bit slow today because I'm screen capturing everything. Oh, there we go, because that was the um, miscellaneous. We have screenplay, storyboards, evaluations. Um, again, we can go down here, and yeah, it is acting a little bit slow on me here. So we've got cards, brochures. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select a brochure, and when you select one and double-click it, Pages opens that up, and again, as in the previous tutorial, you can add more sections in here um, and go ahead and build your document up to customize it just the way you want. So once you've created a document, if you want to open another one uh, and have multiple documents going, you can also find the template chooser by going to File, New from Template Chooser, and again, we go right back to the templates, and it's going to show you all of them, and we can scroll down through them. And one last piece, uh, if I scroll up, there should be, uh, there it is. My templates, I've already created a couple in here, just a demo for the um, screencast, but I've got a Deering letterhead here, and it gives me a little bit of an error. That's okay, it's just a missing font. And you can see here that the Deering letterhead is already opened up. I can type in the letter and ship it out to parents. So that's the template chooser, and come on back, and we'll talk a little bit more about um, saving and printing.